bring in Fox News contributor Andy McCarthy, former assistant U.S. attorney in the Office of Prosecuting Mayor Adams. So he knows a lot about this office and the generating of these kinds of charges. Uh, Andy, what, what's your take now that we've heard a bit from both sides here today? Well, I wasn't surprised, Martha, to see how thorough the indictment is in terms of going backwards. I'm a little bit surprised at how much of the indictment is outside the five-year statute of limitations period. Almost uh, all of the stuff that leads up to how you're supposed to understand the charges they ultimately bring, I think it, it starts back in 2014, and a lot of it happens uh, prior to 2019. But there's a lot there. You know, they've obviously been investigating Adams for nearly a year. I think it was November of last year that they personally uh, executed a search warrant on him to get his uh, phone devices. So that's almost a year before the search at Gracie Mansion that happened in the early hours of the morning. This has obviously been a very thorough investigation. It, let, let's take a look at the wall that we have here, because this is sort of the um, icing on the cake. There have been a number of indictments and resignations in uh, his deputies and the people who work under him in the police department, the education department. Um, we can take a look at uh, some of these individuals up here on the wall. Four of them have resigned. Six are under investigation. And then today, Eric Adams indicted. Y you know, it, some people who've looked at these, Andy, um, and I know you've just laid out how thorough it is, question whether or not, um, you know, how, how serious some of this is, that it's not unusual, you just heard his attorney, for a consulate to call the mayor's office and ask if they can expedite something for them, um, claims his attorney, and that it's not unusual to get upgrades on flights and hotels. Well, it, th that didn't sound like a defense. That sounded more to me like mitigation, mm. uh, those comments. I mean, he really wasn't asking them, he wasn't asking them to, you know, do a favor to put me on the top of the pile. He was basically saying, approve a high-rise building that, the safe, that can't pass its safety inspection. And I think the big thing here, Martha, with respect to all the people you talked about, is these are officials that are very close to Adams, a number of whom are cooperating with the investigation. Well, that's a really great point um, because they're concerned about their own situation and they're turning evidence most likely against him. Uh, he says he's going to stay on. Do you think he will be able to do that, to stay on as Mary Andy, Andy before we go? Yeah, I think uh, former President Trump kind of broke the mold on that. There's an yeah. awful lot you can do while you're under indictment. Andy McCarthy, thank you very much. Good to see you, Andy. That story's just beginning. Thank you, Martha. And we will stay on it. Good to see you, as always. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.